What's going on everybody, it's your pal Burrito Johnson just coming at you with a quick, hopefully quick video here. Um, as you can see in the background, I, I collect, I wouldn't say I'm a massive movie collector, like, oh my god, look at, you know, some of these YouTubers have walls and walls upon walls of like thousands of movies and stuff like that. I love movies, uh, but as you can see in the back, I like to collect Criterion movies. I think I'm about 50, 60 deep already, I know, and those are my box sets. Um, Varda and the Holy Grail, in my opinion, is uh, the Ingmar Bergman set, which took me forever to get. I, this year has been awesome. I, I've been able to get um, all the box sets that I wanted, which is pretty cool. Like, that wasn't a thing. Um, it took me years to even find it. Uh, but this year, thankfully, a lot of Barnes and Nobles had... Uh, box sets that I've been looking for in stock, which is pretty cool. Um, so they they had a flash sale what a week ago, a few days ago. I don't remember. They just they recently had a flash sale, and I knew that I wasn't going to go too crazy on this. I know a lot of people were just like spending hundreds of dollars, which is great. You do you, man. But I'm more of a Barnes and Noble guy, and I've been finding all my movies that I wanted no problem there you know except you know the big ones but when you're lucky you'll find it but the thing about it that i why i'm waiting for to kind of blow everything all my money on the barnes and noble sale is because um, um you, if you're a member you get that extra 10 percent off you you basically get 60 percent off your whole total and that adds up especially when you're getting box sets that extra 10 percent per you know uh, the whole total or whatever you want to look at it per box set or whatever that's that's tax that's tax right there um, and I think Criterion when I ordered these uh, these two uh, box these two uh, my orders I don't think they charge taxes which is kind of cool so I guess you know you could look at it that way uh, but uh, I didn't. I didn't know how I felt about Criterion. And I, this was the first. This was the first time ordering for uh, direct from Criterion. I usually order from Barnes and Nobles, maybe Amazon once in a while, but uh, they were surprisingly fast. It took about three days, excluding the weekend. It could, you know, I think a lot of people got theirs in a day. Uh, I got mine today, earlier today. So, um, yeah. So I didn't go too crazy. I should. I, I, I could have, but I was gonna wait. Uh, but yeah, so I'll show you what I got. First thing is, uh, sorry for the glare. I'm still trying to figure out this lighting situation. Um, I completed my Wes Anderson collection with uh, the Fantastic Mr. Fox. These, the the thing, the ones that I got are basically uh, the ones that I knew I couldn't find at the stores over the years. I had no luck, um, but. Uh, I can never find these in. I can never find this in the store. Never, not even them DVD format or whatever. And they were always like out, out of stock on Barnes and Noble. So I was able to finally uh, grab this for uh, during the flash sale, the uh, Fantastic Mixer Fox, which I absolutely liked. It was a, it's a good. Uh, to be honest, the last time I saw this one was in theaters like eleven years ago. I had a blast. It did eighty-seven minutes. It's a short film, but it it went by fast. Um, I thought everybody, um, there we go, let's see, Dark director approved Blu-ray with special features, so this is like Digipack, I think they have one that is a combo, a DVD and a Blu-ray combo that, uh, that I don't, I don't, maybe they don't make anymore, um, cause I've seen it before back when I was like, I used, back when I found this was when it was not on the sale. I'm sorry. I do like Criterion, but not enough to, you know, drop $40 unless it's something I really, really want. But thankfully I haven't really had to drop the full price on a Criterion just yet. I may have play, paid a little bit of a premium, um, just to make sure I have it. But, um, yeah, the next one is something I've been looking for for a while now, long time. I never even back in the day during the sales over the years I never really found this and I've always been curious because I've seen this in other people's um, collections and I've seen I've seen about I've seen a couple of these movies in here I haven't seen the, the other ones but I'm actually excited to check it out and it's the uh, uh, the America lost and found the BBS story which is pretty damn cool 
Um, obviously, the most recognizable one to everybody is going to be Easy Rider. You know, that cultural watershed that, that basically all the hippies flock to the theaters to see Jack Nicholson, Peter Fonda, uh, you know, Dennis Hopper, right? He directed it, if I'm not mistaken. And then, you know, The Last Picture Show. Great films. I have yet to see any of the other ones. So we got Head, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, Drive, He Said, A Safe Place, The Last Picture Show, and The... Um, and the King of Marvin Gardens. So this is another one that I've been looking forward to to getting for, for a very long time. And, and, and of course, they had these in low stock or something like that, it told me on the Criterion website. So I was able to, I was like, I need to get this one. So that's my two, I didn't, like I said, I didn't, I didn't go too crazy. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go too crazy this time around because I'm waiting for the Barnes and Nobles. Um, because I just like going uh, criterion hunting I have to do that it's just part of the cell you, uh, I, th I think that's like half the fun of, of the cell is basically hitting up all the Barnes and Nobles in your area and seeing what you f you find you'll f you know have a lot of the times you'll find stuff you didn't think you'll ever find um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna go I'll, I'll, I'll show another thing that has been kind of my become kind of my white well uh, White Whale, obviously, is something you uh, you know Moby Dick reference, uh, something that you you've almost had but just couldn't oh, you know couldn't just get it. It was an it was just out of, you know just out of reach, and that's was with this this was with me for years and years and years. Um, I didn't get it during the flash sale because it's been out of stock for the longest time on Barnes and Noble, and it's not even listed on Barnes and Noble. They don't even have it on in their system. Um, and Criterion says out of stock, currently out of stock. So who knows when they're gonna get it? Um, they might get it during the flash or the the the, the cell that's coming, the inev in inevitable Criterion f Barnes and Noble cell that's coming up in about a month or so. Everybody's everybody's waiting for that one. But what I'm talking about is it's a Tochi, the uh, the Blind Swordman, the Blind Swordman. Uh, box set all 25 movies uh, this is not the dual feature the dual format f uh, f uh, version of it I to be honest I've actually heard some bad things about the the, the DVD and the blu-ray version that it's like there's a lot of errors from what I'm a lot of people who who have the, the bigger it's bigger obviously you're housing more discs uh, this one's a little bit more compact but still looks gorgeous um, 25 all 25 films a bunch of special features uh, nine nine blu-rays I'm basically not gonna open it just yet um, I think this is just gonna stay sealed for as long as I could help it only because it's just pretty damn it's damn cool on the on the on the shelf it's gonna go to, on the shelf back there only reason I'm not really opening it is because it's all on the criterion channel right now um, so I'm just gonna kind of uh, enjoy it that way and uh, you know when I when I feel like it I'll just have you know open this and you know go through it uh, but yeah and on an unrelated note I'm gonna you know I know this has nothing to do with criterion but right we hold we hold the uh, screen factory as pristine as criterion right of course you got critters I got that as well. Has nothing to do with uh, shelf uh, uh, criterion, but um, I just wanted to throw something random out there. Uh, this comes uh, correct all four criterion mass masterpieces. Technically, the first two. I've only seen the first two. I really haven't seen the other one, so I'm really curious to uh, to check it out. But yeah, these are my recent uh, two from the two from the. Um, uh, flash shell and one recently I actually paid um, I paid about 25 more dollars than what it would cost to get this um, uh, on the uh, if it was on the flash shell if this was on the flash shell I would have it would have probably been uh, out of stock right away just like the Apu trilogy that was the one I was actually gonna get over the this one uh, but the, that one was out of stock right away like everybody wants that one and that's another one that I'm I need to find hopefully this 
then the, the, the Criterion show that's coming up will have it. I, it was hard to find in my area in Arizona. I went to several different um, Barnes and Nobles, even Barnes and Nobles that were like half an hour away. I went to, I couldn't find it. So there were some, there were some that I couldn't, um, uh, you know, get. But yeah, this one was my white. What is my white? Well, I'm happy that I got it. I'm okay paying 25 extra dollars uh, just to have it in my collection, just to get it out of the way, um, you know. And uh, you know, I'm I'm happy. I'm gonna. I'll probably do an actual official unboxing of this at some point, uh, just to kind of show what's in the Blu-ray version. I know there's like a bunch out there, you know, a bunch of videos with people unboxing it. Um, but yeah, that's my small little criterion collection that i got over the uh past um a uh, few days um this month has been crazy it's been it's been crazy i got it's been an awesome month of uh, just stuff getting stuff i got the the friday the 13th box set uh which i um which i sent in uh request for my uh replacement disc which i'm not even pissed off about because the amount of work that these guys put into it uh, to the Friday the 13th uh, box set has been just just spectacular. Agnes, I got her at the beginning of the month. Um, they had like Amazon randomly cut the price and they they did their own like 50% off random. Um, you know they they just cut that price in half. Um, it was like 1 a.m. and it was like hey it's 50% off now so get on it and within 20 minutes after I placed my order and all that it was sold out it was like you know how Amazon does like uh, it, the price went up uh, basically almost back to the original uh, price and it was like a one to two month wait so I got in right at, at a perfect time um, and then of course I got the Alejandro Jabowski set if I mean am I even saying that right seen his movies a long time ago just crazy stuff um, but yeah Gamera, I mean, I guess that's, you know, that was the last few months. But yeah, uh, that, those are all my Criterion cells, my Criterion uh, collection that I'm probably going to be going through. I, I basically start my box sets and then kind of work my way. I don't know how, I don't know how to organize. They're not, they're not organized. I just built this uh, cabinet, this, uh, this, these shelves just to kind of throw all my movies because it was just getting out of, I have movies everywhere. So I just wanted to have them, you know, just, just somewhere. Um, and then I got my arrow videos kind of at my arrow. I, that's not even talking about my arrows, my arrow videos. Those are a whole different thing, man. Those are basically taking up a whole shelf down here. Um, mostly box sets. Um, I've been, um, importing from the UK. Didn't know, didn't think I could do it. Um, I, the cool thing about some of the some of these things, I, I, I'm eventually going to get a, a region-free Blu-ray player. That's inevitable. But the cool thing about it is almost all the box sets, almost all the movies that I've gotten from, like, uh, Arrow from UK, Zavi, Zavi, or whatever, however you say it, um, most of them play on a normal. So the cool thing about it is uh, not all of them, but most of them are multi-region. I know some of them, some of them that say only plays in region B will not play in anything else plays on my American Xbox and PlayStation so it's kind of a trial and error the uh, there's a couple box sets that I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't I was like well they'd be try you know literally every box set that I threw into the the to my Xbox played booted up everything there was a couple in there there it's like big old black screen only playable on region B blu-ray players and I was like damn it so it's inevitable. I'm gonna get a region-free uh, Blu-ray player, which is you have to, man. If you're gonna start, um, because Arrow just absolutely knocks it out of the park with some of the re some of these releases, and some of these releases, there's a lot of. I have, I, I you know, uh, Zavi did their buy. They do this all the time, and I hate it. They do their buy one get one free um, Arrow releases, and they don't have the biggest selection, but they have a good selection. Um, so, and, and some of these selections are only available, um, exclusively to the UK. Basically, I, I can't go to Amazon. I'm pretty, well, I'm pretty sure I could go to Amazon UK or whatever, but you're going to be paying more. I would rather, you know, uh, and buy one, get one free and it was already discounted. So, um, region, region free Blu-ray player is kind of a way, a way to go. 
Um, but yeah, Arrow is another thing I got into, and importing, which is Zavi makes it so easy. I I, I order them. I, they're here. They're here within a week. I've never had any of these lost yet. I have about four of them coming. Uh, they should be here any day now. Uh, I ordered them last week. I got they, they already got a shipping confirmation. Only bad thing about Zavi is that they don't give you a tracking number, which is kind of scary. So my thing is in a boat somewhere or in a, in a plane or it, it should be here, but it's kind of scary that they don't give you a uh, uh, a tracking number uh, to kind of keep track of it. Uh, I ordered. I ordered, I don't know, there you go, I don't know, I ordered the Twin Peaks uh, Z to A box set from Zavi, and it was here in like two days, so I don't, and I got a tracking number and everything, so I don't, I don't understand how those guys work, but whatever. That one gave me a tracking number, I didn't even have to deal with anything, it was here in two days from the UK, and then I order other things, and they're like, well, it shipped, but we don't have a tracking number, so if you don't get your... Uh, movies within a certain, you know, a month or so, then contact us and we'll go from there. So it's kind of a hit or miss. But yeah, that's just been kind of my um, my situation that I've, that I've uh, done, um, stuff that I picked up. Um, and yeah, I'll, at some point I'll do a video of what I have what I have and what I've seen. I haven't seen all of them. Uh, there's some boxes that I want to go through. I've been plowing through uh, Farda and um, uh, Bergman. It's a lot of content, man. Each disc has the movie plus the special features, and it's 30, 30 movies on 30, right? 30 discs. And uh, I think uh, Varda has 15 discs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just Criterion's knocking, at, not knocking it out of the park. They always have. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's enough rambling. Um, until next time, uh, g uh, tell me what you like about Criterion. Do you prefer Criterion over Arrow? Are they both the same? Is Arrow kind of just like the B movie version of Criterion? You know, like in my opinion, I hold them kind of. I hold Criterion pretty high, and Arrow, I hold them to the to the level of Criterion, as in how they treat. Uh, their movies as in how they box it like Gamera kicked it out of the park man that's probably one of my favorite like I prefer Gamera over the Godzilla the Criterion's got the show era ones and the show era the Godzilla one is badass the artwork is pretty good but Gamera wasn't expecting it to be that massive I was expecting it to be honestly I was expecting Gamera to be this size with all their movies and stuff like that. I was not expecting uh, Gamera to be massive with a comic book and a bunch of stuff. I literally heard a thud at my door. It was crazy, but enough talking. Uh, if I'll be making some more videos. Um, if you wanna comment down below um, your favorite criterions or how do you feel about that, uh, go ahead and do that. But until next time, guys, uh, this is Burrito Johnson. I'll talk to you later.